what's up guys hi everybody hope all of you are doing well i know it's been a long and hot minute since i've been here doing tree lessons but i am back with some more tree lessons for you guys so if you are excited just stay tuned don't forget to subscribe and if you're new to my channel acqua back to this platform my name is Ajali, and this is the place where you learn basic tree with no stress easy simple and straight to the point okay okay so in today's video i'm just going to be giving you some few vocabulary um to express the weather to express what the weather is like in tree so for example you want to say it is sunny it is raining it is cloudy it is windy foggy whatever these are how um, you are going to say those things in tree okay so let's just let's just get on with this video now the first one um is it is sunny it is sunny how would you say it is sunny in tree in tree you would say area ebo area ebo okay area which is the sun is happening ebo or it's doing okay ebo so the sun is doing <laughs> area Ebo, or you would literally say Ebo, Ebo. Okay, so it's wavy, guys. You have to go with the wave. It's wavy. You either say Ebia, okay, Ebo, okay, Ebia, Ebo, or you would say Ebiaebo, Ebiaebo. So you basically just link it in the middle, and that is how you say it is sunny. Now, if you want to say that it is hot, okay. It is hot, you would say Osho Womu. Osho Womu. Okay, Osho Womu. It is warm. If you want to say the weather is hot, okay, not the general term for saying it is hot, but you want to say the weather is really, really hot, you would say Ewe Moshe. Ewe Moshe. Ewe Mu. Yes, okay, a real but it's just a whole lot. You just you just slice it up and say a real moshe, a real moshe, okay, okay. Um, so yeah, basically, a show is the term or as the word for heat, okay, heat. Now, if I want to say it is hot, like I said, I would say a show. Woman. but if i want to say it is hot in terms of oh the food is hot like it's really warm and things like that it has a different expression but we are doing um weather today so we're not going to go into that if i want to say it is hot in terms of weather i would say osho wumu if i want to say the weather is hot i would say okay okay now if i want to say that it is raining rain rain if i want to say that it is raining i would say that it's actually raining now it's really raining so if you can hear any kind of thunderous noise it is the rain if i want to say that it is raining i would say um in Seattle. in Seattle rain which is in seal literally means water so in seal air to in seal air to okay the air to is falling the rain water is falling water is falling okay if i want to not say in seal air to three basically three syllables or whatever it is you would just have to link it in the middle and say in Seattle in Seattle okay so it's either in Seattle or in Seattle to say it is raining okay now if you want to say that it is cloudy it is cloudy you would say in Muna. in Muna, meaning that it's really about to rain literally it translates as the water or the rain has frowned okay the rain has frowned and so it's about to rain because it has frowned so much that it's at a certain point going to release all its anger and it's just going to start to rain <laughs> so 
that is like literally what it means okay and so emuna is how you say it is cloudy it is cloudy if you say a person has muna okay um we muna like he has frowned we muna we is he or she muna is the action that the person has frowned so we muna he has frowned me muna okay me muna meaning i have frowned my face um but if you want to say that it is cloudy you would say in sio e mu in sio e mu na okay okay now if i want to say that it is windy okay i would say um wind 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 in frama if i want to say that it's windy i would say in frama e bo in frama e bo or in frama e bo in frama e bo or in frama e bo okay so um yeah we we usually just take out the the air and just link it okay we just link it this is something that you get to understand or you get to hear more often sometimes we just slice up certain words and take certain words out it's just like in every single language where you have the spoken um way of saying things and you have the written language so the spoken language and the written language now if i want to say that it is foggy okay that it is foggy i would say a bo e si a bo e si one thing that i have to let you know is that in chi there are so many words that mean so many different things okay so just one word does not mean one thing one word can mean a whole lot of things and this is just an example a bot is different from a bot okay now a bot means um fog isi means it has happened so a boy okay a bot isi meaning that fog has happened i guess the reason why we have a bot isi is because it's something that does not happen often and so when it's foggy it's like oh once in a while it's foggy so you have oh fog has happened like yeah so i guess these are just the common ways of expressing um weather in g so it is um, of course you have other things like oh it's stormy or it's thunderous or it's all those things okay we'll do that in another video i'm just giving you the basic thing so it is sunny area airbo it is sunny it is hot the weather is hot it is raining it is windy it is foggy so guys i hope you enjoyed this video simple video straight to the point if you did enjoy it don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to write down below comment below let me know how you feel about these types of videos and i'll see you guys in my next video until then kisses and Bye.